Hello and welcome to today's webinar, Progressing as a Marketing Manager. Before we get started, I'd like to go over a few items so that you know how to participate. The presentation will last for approximately 40 minutes. You'll be able to send text questions to today's presenter by typing your questions into the chat box of the control panel. You may send in your questions at any time during the presentation and we'll collect and address as many of these as we can during the Q&A session at the end. Unfortunately, we can't send slides at the presentation. However, the webinar will be available for you to watch on demand via our Content Hub exchange within the next couple of working days. I would now like to hand over to Red Barrington, Chartered Marketer and Senior Tutor for the Oxford College of Marketing, who will be pre presenting today's webinar. Hi everybody, and good afternoon. Thanks for joining me today on this webinar. Uh, just a little bit about me before we get going. Uh, my name is Red Barrington and I've been uh, working for over 16 years leading digital marketing projects and digital strategy. I've also been working with the Oxford College of Marketing um, for over 11 years now, uh, working with CIM students, supporting them as a tutor. Um, I'm also one of the senior lecturers at the college as well. I do a lot of uh, training development programs and course development, um, and I'm also a charter marketer and have been, I believe, for around 10 years too. So in today's webinar, um, I'm going to be looking at um, really about this level six qualification that the CIM offers, the CIM Diploma in Marketing and the CIM Digital Diploma in Marketing. So I'm going to look at the overview of the CIM qualifications that they offer, some of the key skills that modern marketers now have and how the Level 6 qualification can help you gain those skills and access that knowledge, looking at some of the key benefits of Level 6 qualifications, so from a knowledge, skills, and from a CV perspective, and also looking maybe at some common misconceptions about CIM qualifications before we look at the study options and move on to some frequently asked questions. If you do have questions, do pop them into the chat and uh, our, colleagues, our colleagues at the CIM uh, will relay them to me towards the end and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So this slide here that I've put up just really details uh, all the marketing qualifications uh, that are offered by the Chartered Institute of Marketing. And what you can see is that there's a pathway through from those who are new to marketing right the way through to those that have a senior role. So at the outset, so right at the beginning, uh, students can undertake the foundation certificate in marketing. Now this is suitable for those who are new to marketing or those that are sort of um, working maybe in a startup and want some more background about marketing. And it's really about focusing on introducing marketing um, and the marketing orientation and the marketing mix, et cetera, to students at that level. The next level up is a uh, certificate in professional marketing. This is all about building on tactical marketing skills. So this is really a, for, suitable for maybe new marketers in a marketing function or aspiring marketing executives or maybe marketing assistants. And what we're focusing on today more is the diploma in professional marketing and the digital diploma in professional marketing. Um, the Diploma in Professional Marketing is suitable for you know, experienced marketing executives or uh, marketing managers, or maybe those who have sort of two or three years experience in marketing. Um, and the Digital Diploma, again, is suitable for aspiring digital marketing managers. And both of the qualifications are all about developing your management and strategic capabilities with the Digital Diploma focusing on that digital aspect. But we'll talk a bit more about those specifically a little bit later on. And the final kind of qualification that's offered by the CIM in the UK is the Marketing Leadership Programme. So this is very much for experienced marketing managers, experienced marketing consultants who are looking to develop their leadership skills, uh, their strategic business capabilities. But as I say, today we're really focusing on the Level 6 qualifications, so those that are designed for marketing managers or marketing executives perhaps with two or more years' experience, it's really, level six is really designed for those who are or maybe want to progress into a management position in marketing. And this is probably one of the most popular qualifications offered by the CIM. So in the UK, most qualifications are uh, taken through work, school, or college, or university. They all fit into one of nine levels. There are actually 12 levels, though, in Scotland. And the higher the level, the harder the qualification. And the qualifications are based on the standards of knowledge, 
standards of skills, competence, that are all needed for each qualification. It's important perhaps to point out at this stage that qualifications at the same level can be very different in terms of content and also the length of time that they take to complete. So actually for the CIM qualifications, we have the Diploma in Professional Marketing and the Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing, both at level six, but both cover very different subject areas. Knowing about these levels you know, means that you can compare qualifications though and also identify what you need for your chosen career. So what we have here on this slide, and what I've put together here, it maps the CIM qualifications from across the different levels. So again, you can see the progression from the foundation certificate in marketing, which is at level three, right the way through to the marketing leadership program at level seven. And what you can see is the foundation certificate is equivalent to an A-level. Level four, which is a certificate in professional marketing, is equivalent to a foundation degree. The Diploma in Professional Marketing and Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing are the equivalents of undergraduate degrees, so that is that level six qualification. And level seven is the equivalent to a postgraduate degree, which is, uh, is the marketing leadership program offered by the CIM. So now I've given you a little bit of an introduction to what the levels actually mean. Let's start focusing now on those level six qualifications. And there are two available from the Chartered Institute of Marketing, the Diploma in Professional Marketing and the Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing, as I've already alluded to. I'm going to look at the difference between these two shortly, but at the outset, I think it's important that we think about what the Level 6 qualification can offer you overall. So if you are responsible for managing the marketing process at an operational level, um, maybe you are looking to move into a mid-level management position, you might be looking to build on your knowledge gained, maybe from the certificate that you might have already studied uh, with the CIM at level four, or maybe actually you want to just gain business understanding of marketing management, then actually level six is probably the right level for you. Just to give you a bit of an overview though, level six is, and, and the level six diploma qualifications from the CIM are really focused on strategy. So it's getting you to start thinking about marketing from a strategic level, rather than thinking about your day-to-day -day, uh, marketing uh, campaigns or your marketing communications activities. You, you're really going to be encouraged in this qualification to think about the wider picture in your organization. So looking at the wider business and marketing environment, making sure you're developing insights from analyzing that environment, then developing objectives and strategies to meet the changing business environment and also changing customer needs. So to undertake those qualifications, you will need to have uh, the entry levels which have been detailed here on the slide. So at least two years experience in marketing or a, level, uh, a relevant level four qualification such as the certificate offered by the, um, um, by the uh, Charles Institute of Marketing, sorry. Um, most students at this level um, do hold a degree or equivalent qualification. Uh, they might have also had the CIM uh, professional marketing, certificate in professional marketing. I do I will often uh, often stress to students it is important to have some experience in marketing and we you know it's usually recommended around two years just so you've got a working knowledge of how marketing uh, functions within a business this will really help you especially across the assessments but actually if you've not studied marketing before so you might have a degree maybe in business but not studied in marketing uh, but you have got experience uh, you know and you maybe want to revise some of the um, uh, basic marketing theory. At the Oxford College of Marketing, we, we do have an intensive course that enables uh, students who may not be so confident uh, around some of the marketing, basic marketing theory to get up to speed again uh, to make sure they are ready for that level six. Well, for the digital uh, diploma in professional marketing, um, actually, while there's specific digital knowledge is required, the qualification does assume that you as a student have some basic understanding of digital tools and techniques. Um, so it is important to make sure you are aware of you know, how things like SEO work, what PPC is, for example, before you start if you decide to undertake that digital diploma in professional marketing. Also, just to add here that each qualification is made up of three modules uh, in the digital diploma. All three qualifications are mandatory, while in the professional diploma, you have two mandatory modules and you have one elective modules. Do note, though, for the uh, level six qualification, the Diploma in Professional Marketing, you, there is an option to do a uh, digital elective module. So if you're not, if you're 
don't really want to do a pure digital qualification, you can still improve your digital marketing knowledge by undertaking that elective as part of the Diploma in Professional Marketing. So yes, we started talking about those two different qualifications at level six, the Diploma in Professional Marketing or the Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing. So how do you decide which one is the right one for you? So let's firstly look at the Diploma in Professional Marketing. Now this really focuses on how to take a strategic approach to marketing at a management level. So that is marketing uh, as a very broad brush in terms of it could be digital, it could be non-digital. And it's designed for marketing managers who want to widen their marketing knowledge at a strategic and management level. Um, it's this Qualifications focus on so that wider marketing skills and knowledge. Um, it's all about strategy. As I said before, you do have an option on this particular qualification to undertake a digital elective as well if you wanted to. So you can still enhance your digital marketing knowledge, um, or you could choose if you wanted to to have that specialism and undertake the digital diploma in professional marketing. So this qualification, this focuses. Uh, on how to take a strategic approach to digital marketing. So it's designed for marketers who want to gain not just a better understanding of digital, but also how to develop an effective digital strategy. This is very much for people who want to hone in on digital marketing. Um, so it could be for, as I said, aspiring digital marketing managers, for example. Um, it's all about developing your specific uh, digital marketing knowledge and skills, and also on making sure you're developing that digital strategy for management level as well. So there are two options, and it really will. And what you choose really depends on what you want from your career or where you see your career heading. If you are unsure, do talk to a study centre. They will be able to guide you, let you speak to a tutor perhaps, um, or one of their uh, student representatives that give you an idea of what you could get out of a qualification and how it might map to what you want to achieve in your own career. So let's, uh, moving on to this slide here, and this is the M3 model that Ashley uh, Friedlin uh, at eConsultancy has put together, and it suggested this is a new planning uh, framework for executive, uh, it's for, sorry, for um, putting together marketing strategies and plans. Now, now the reason why this is so interesting is actually alongside this framework, um, he suggested that there are new requirements for marketing competencies and capabilities. And this is really reflected in the fact that we've got changing technologies, new channels, uh, a really difficult, perhaps, and turbulent marketing environment. And what uh, Ashley Friedland identified were some new key competencies uh, and skills and capabilities that marketers now needed to have in order to be effective and suitable marketers. So you'll notice here, so things like data and analytics, customer experience, content, multi-channel personalization. So actually as marketers, to meet today's uh, challenges within the marketing environment, we do need to upskill. So we have to be competent and have a wide range of skills. And that's what these level six qualifications from the CIM offer. Um, you know, we need to be able to demonstrate that we can uh, use things like SEO, PPC, programmatic, or I don't know, TV advertising as part of actually a wider marketing strategy and not thinking just about campaigns. And as I said, this, the qualifications at level six will help you gain these necessary skills and I'll be able to demonstrate to, this to you uh, across the next few slides. So in terms of looking at the uh, Diploma in Professional Marketing and the Digital Diploma. Um, we're going to look now at some of the key benefits in terms of the knowledge that you could gain from undertaking this qualification. So firstly, these qualifications encourage strategic thinking um, and understanding the strategic role that marketing plays in the business. You know, it's really important for any marketer, especially with management aspirations, to understand and be able to think strategically. So the level six qualifications are really about getting you to think more widely. So it's not just about your day-to-day -day operations. It's not just about your marketing campaigns. It's about taking that step back. It's about getting you to think about um, those campaigns that you're running, but actually in the context of uh, your wider marketing and business objectives, thinking about how you as a marketer and how your marketing function is directly contributing to the business bottom line and what role marketing needs to play in championing the customer moving forwards and playing a strategic role within the organization. Another key benefit is learning how to develop key strategic marketing initiatives. You know, marketing isn't 
about and is no longer the communications department. And sadly, we no longer sit around. We don't drink coffee. We don't just sit there dreaming up our next communications campaign where we're going to you know, drop a million pounds on a TV advert. Actually, we have to be that customer champion. Uh, we have to lead the marketing strategy as the marketing function. Uh, we have to make sure whatever we're developing in terms of that strategy meets and reflects a, a customer's changing wants and needs. So the level six qualifications and the modules within them um, from the CIM equip you with the knowledge to be able to develop those suitable strategic initiatives. Another key benefit is understanding how to analyze business data and inform um, uh, you know, uh, business data and information in order to develop suitable recommendations. So this is thinking back to that slide I've just shown you about the skills of the modern marketer. We saw that analysis of data is a key requirement. Again, we can't just run a campaign and not analyze it. We can't just run marketing activity and no longer analyze what's working and what's not working. We have to be able to demonstrate as marketers how we are delivering a return on investment. Another key uh, benefit is developing an understanding of how digital marketing tools can be used as part of a wider marketing plan and activity. So again, at uh, the CIM Level 6 qualifications, take that strategic approach to digital as well. So it's, not, it's, it's a given at this level that you know what the main sort of tools and techniques you can use in digital marketing. It's a given that you know what SEO is. It's a given that you understand programmatic uh, advertising, for example. But what, we're, what the Level 6 qualification, and specifically the Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing, enables you to do is understand how these tools can be used in a wider marketing strategy to develop a digital marketing strategy um, and where it, they all need to fit and how they can work together. Another, finally, that key benefit of round knowledge is staying up to date with the latest marketing trends. So throughout your studies, uh, within all CIM qualifications, it does enable you to keep up to date with the latest marketing trends, either through maybe your in-class um, uh, activities that in could include online distance learning. It could be through your assessment, encouraging you to undertake research into some of the latest aspects in marketing. Or um, it could uh, be through your CIM membership where you get access to the CIM exchange and uh, wider uh, materials as well, such as EBSCO uh, materials, which you have, all have access to once you become a CIM member. So that's thinking about knowledge, but what about skills? Some of the key benefits in terms of skills have been detailed here on the slide. So again, let's have a think about some of these. Firstly, a key skill that you could benefit from gaining from undertaking these level six qualifications is around the assessment methodology. It directly supports development of practical skills and that are relevant to your current uh, organization. Now, the assessments are mainly assignment focused, they're around 5,000 words. Um, and for the current syllabus, there's also an exam. The assessment is very practical. It's based upon your organization you're working for or one that you might be familiar with, one you want to, to maybe make yourself familiar with. Um, so therefore, it supports you developing a range of skills. So it could include things like creating a marketing plan for that relevant uh, organization context, uh, creating an internal communications plan, for example. Another key skill is it, uh, that these qualifications support is developing analytical thinking and problem solving. So the level six qualification you know, helps, to build, helps you to build all important skills in analysis of information, uh, analysis of data, also how we could use this data to develop solutions for organization issues. You know, as marketers, you know, we need to understand how our environment is constantly changing. So having these analytical skills is vitally important. We can also, through the qualification, develop our own communication skills. You know, it helps us to, uh, you know, these qualifications can really help you as a student recognize various stakeholders that can be involved in uh, the planning process uh, or developing strategy um, and developing skills to communicate with them at different levels. Um, again, this assessment methodology for these particular assessments, so how you actually get examined, um, it supports an improvement in communication skills because you're asked to write reports. You know, you're asked to produce presentations. These are all important skills that you need in the workplace, especially as you progress in your career and towards management. You know, you are challenged and you will be challenged as a student studying at level six to write in a style that's suitable for senior management, you know, making sure any relevant information is included um, and 
um, and, and making sure that you're uh, meeting the needs of your audiences. And um, also, finally, um, the skills as a key benefit we could look at from studying at level six is about providing the skills and competencies to influence management levels. This kind of comes on from the last point where, you know, from developing a better understanding of stakeholder needs, the CIM professional diploma in marketing or the digital diploma um, in, in marketing um, enables students to develop competencies needed, so the skills needed to influence management. So actually, if by understanding marketing at a strategic uh, perspective, it enables you to speak the language of management, which is usually related to profit and return on investment. And this will make you much more confident as a marketer and confident in discussing these matters with your management team. So most importantly, some of the key benefits of studying a level six qualification from a, your career uh, perspective. And you know, I'm sure um, most of you here will probably be most interested in some of these key points. Um, definitely from a key benefit is career progression and a salary increase. So, yeah, so if you don't have an official education, perhaps in marketing, or you might hold a degree in an unrelated subject, the CIM qualification, especially at level six, because it's at that undergraduate level, can help you formalize uh, you know, your, uh, formalize your knowledge, formalize the theory that you understand, and you know, back it up with some practical experience um, uh, as well. So really putting, you know, if you've got like four years experience in marketing, why not back that up with a qualification to show your dedication towards uh, the marketing discipline? Um, it's a globally recognized qualification. That CIM is the world's largest organization for professional marketers. You know, CIM also has a global reputation as a center of excellence. So those qualifications are recognized across the world. So um, it's an important fact to consider if you are looking at undertaking a CIM qualification. In terms of enhancing your CV, uh, you know, it may seem that maybe not all qualifications, uh, sorry, not all qualifications, marketing vacancies, actually specify the need to have a CIM qualification. Um, it does often depend on the industry, but myself, I am seeing increasing number of marketing roles being advertised that have CIM qualifications listed as being beneficial to have as, as part of that application process. But actually, even if the qualification or having such a qualification um, isn't a prerequisite for the role, it's not to say that it wouldn't be a good addition to the CV, uh, particularly if there are lots of candidates it, with very similar experience, it would really help to set you apart from those candidates. Another key benefit, as we've already talked about, especially around the assessment methodology, is gaining practical career experience. So again, um, thinking about matching up marketing theory, uh, learning a little bit more, and then matching that to the experiences you've had, gaining experiences from others, maybe if you're studying in, um, maybe if you're studying in your um, uh, classroom environment, you can definitely learn from others and gain more experience that way as well. And that leads on to the next point, really, both in online and distance learners uh, can, you know, uh, can network with each other as part of the uh, learning process. For example, at the Oxford College of Marketing, we have forums, we have Facebook groups to encourage students to communicate with each other, support one another across the learning process. But also the CIM offer wider networking opportunities through local CIM groups as well. And also in terms of benefits of your career, you can enjoy the benefits of the CIM membership. Uh, the CIM suggests that, that some of the key benefits of their membership are based around uh, careers, so in, in terms of uh, your professional development, uh, they offer a mentoring program, they off also offer benefits around capabilities, so webinars such as what you're listening to now, toolkits, and online journals to help you upskill and continue to upskill as a marketer. Developing that community, as I've already spoken about, so uh, networking events, regional events, and also they provide significant content as well, so through the Catalyst magazine, Content Hub, and Exchange. Employers do recognize the importance of CIM qualifications, especially uh, at the level six, so uh, the, pro the CIM professional diploma in marketing. And, um, and also the benefits they provide in terms of career progression. So what I've put here on the slide, it's a little bit small, but hopefully you can read it. Uh, this is from uh, a head of marketing, and they're really just underlining the importance and, and from them as an employer's perspective as to uh, 
individuals having a CIM qualification. Um, and it says here, you know, a CIM qualification indicates that the marketer has the skill set to think strategically and understands the complete picture of marketing. And as an employer, I always actively look for marketing qualifications when reviewing CVs. Notice there, you know, that, that importance there, understand the complete picture of marketing. And that really captures the essence of a level six qualification. What about what students say? So here's two reviews from students actually from the Oxford College of Marketing, both who have studied at level six. Actually, the one on the left, which is uh, Teresa's um, Google review, that's certainly worth us looking at. You know, notice here, she said, it's very hard, but it was very worth it. Uh, it relevant syllabus, professional and supportive staff. Um, but you can see here, she's got a lot out of it. She found that syllabus relevant. Um, and interestingly, she said her salary's increased from undertaking the course. Uh, and she said that, therefore, having such a qualification really is essential. Um, and Russell's review there as well, he said, you know, he found himself procrastinating and delaying doing the work. But actually, um, if, they, if you are interested in doing a career and furthering your knowledge, then undertaking a CIM level six qualification is key too. I think this is also really important. Uh, there are lots of common misconceptions around uh, CIM qualifications, um, and especially at this level. So I thought I'd highlight some of these to you. So the first one there is people often think that a CIM qualification is too academic. Actually, CIM qualifications, and especially at level six, um, are practitioner qualifications. So they are designed for practicing marketers in, in, and, and to support the skills that they need to um, for today for marketing in their organizations. You know, the assignments and the assessments that you have, especially at level six, are all based on real life applications of context, uh, of concepts, sorry, to your organization or an organization of your choice. So you're gonna write assessments based upon the organization you're working for. So actually you can produce a real life strategic marketing plan that you can use in your workplace. So it's very, very beneficial. Another common misconception is that they take too long. They take too much time. Um, another thing, really, it's a definite misconception because CIM qualifications are all based on modules. So you can study at your own pace. Uh, and students, we usually find at the Oxford College of Marketing uh, that it takes around 18 months to complete it. Um, you know, most study centers, you know, we, we do realize that it's very difficult and it can be difficult to balance work study and life and we do often and we do offer and all of the study centers offer flexibility with timetables uh, the Oxford College of Marketing uh, actually ourselves we give three years access to materials so it gives students three years to complete their qualifications so you do have a lot of time another misconception uh, not applicable to the modern marketer well the syllabus is very relevant for the modern marketer you know many qualifications uh, out there they focus too much maybe on the specific tactical elements of marketing. And many don't really provide that strategic perspective that's really uh, expected or needed by a marketing manager now. Something interesting to note is that the syllabus content has been updated for 2019 and it does launch next month, so do keep your eyes peeled, especially if you're thinking about studying a level six qualification. And all the refreshed content uh, within that new syllabus, it does ensure that the qualification is and it remains relevant for today's marketer. And finally, and I think this one frustrates me the most, that it's not suitable for SMEs, uh, uh, SME organizations, or those people working in uh, even small micro businesses as well. Uh, from my own experience, I'd say around 75% of our students come from uh, SMEs, and they definitely benefit from the course. You know, the assessments are flexible, and they're becoming even more flexible. So they really are suitable for the students studying in any context, whether it's SME, not-for-profit, B2B. Don't think that CIM qualifications are only there for those working you know, in really large FMCG organizations, because it's simply not true. So if you are interested in studying uh, for the Diploma in Professional Marketing or the Digital Diploma in Professional Marketing, you have some study options. Um, not all study centers will provide uh, all of these options for all the qualifications, though, so you would have to speak to them. But the three key study options that are available is distance learning. So this is where you'd study online. Uh, you can study anywhere, anytime, anywhere in the world. Um, Part-time evening classes, so these are evening classes, uh, usually classes that are around three hours. Uh, they're offered in a variety of locations. 
And finally, we have intensive weekends. So essentially, you study the module uh, in, in its entirety in one intensive weekend. Like weekends run roughly sort of from um, nine o'clock till five o'clock. Um, and then uh, you can continue your learning via distance learning. So for example, at the Oxford College of Marketing, uh, students that uh, start studying intensive weekends, they will continue on to our distance learning program and supported by wider webinars as well. And now just moving on to finally to our FAQ section, because I'm sure some of you have some burning questions. So I thought I'd cover some of these as well uh, before the end of today's webinar. A common question is, can I complete the course if I'm currently uh, not working? Absolutely. So the assessments are practical but they can be based on any organization you wish. Uh, usually we suggest to students that you probably stay away from large corporate organizations you don't work for, like I don't know, McDonald's or Ikea. Um, but it could be uh, you could use a one that you've worked for maybe in the past if you're not currently working, or one a friend or family member or partner works for. This is a discussion you should have with your study center, but all study centers uh, will have uh, some advice that they can give you on this. Another quick question we often get is, what if I have a relevant degree but not two years experience in marketing? Here you'd need to really ask your preferred study centre. Uh, at the Oxford College of Marketing, we do offer a free pre-course diploma, so enabling most people with a degree study to get to the level six and to give them the information that they need. Our always a important question is, how long does the qualification take to complete? So we always recommend uh, the Oxford College of Marketing uh, taking around 18 months to complete the full qualification. There are three CIM assessment timetables a year in April, December, and July. Um, and the study center you work with will provide you with a personal study timetable to enable you to work towards completing your assessments as well. Um, you are able to get all these up front so if you're having a holiday or a summer holiday or, or whatever, you can fit everything around that. Another important question, how much study time do I need? Uh, I, you know, based upon the learning hours, uh, the CIM recommend around 130 to 150 learning hours. Now, before you all get worried about how many hours that is, it's about 10 hours a week. Um, and you probably need around about 30 hours to write up your assignment. Again, don't panic about the amount of time. I've just said it is all broken down. And, you know, again, you could be doing just a few hours a week on your assessment. And finally, uh, oh, no, a penultimate, how do I find a study center? Um, and uh, you can find a study center by going onto the CIM website, looking at the qualifications, and there is a link. So cim.co.uk forward slash study centers. You can go and search by location, course, or preferred study method. And finally, how much does it cost? Well, costs will vary between colleges, so you do need to speak to your preferred study center if you are interested and speak to them individually. Um, but I would sort of make sure you're aware that costs aren't the only factor that should influence your decision. You know, you should look at things like pass rates. Uh, the CIM also award commendations to uh, different study centers based upon the quality of their teaching and the results that they get. Uh, you should look at things like teaching, um, uh, teaching staff, the sort of materials you can get access to. All of these things need to be considered. Um, but don't just think about the costs in terms of you know, how much you're paying for the course. You do need to factor in additional costs as well, such as the Charter Institute of Marketing uh, membership fees. Also, you will need to pay fees for uh, your examinations and assessments too. And you will need to budget for books. Um, you can find a lot of books online, but we still would recommend you budget to put some budget aside for books too. So that's uh, all the content I wanted to cover, but I'm hoping we have some questions. Thank you, Red. So yes, we're now going to um, answer some of the questions that have been submitted. Um, just as a reminder to the audience that they can still submit questions via the chat box in the attendee control panel. Um, so our first question, um, somebody who's been listening has a BA in marketing um, and has worked in marketing roles for um, 10 years. Would you say they um, meet the requirements to do the professional diploma? Absolutely meet the requirements to do the professional diploma, but I would actually ask them if they 
if they do want an interest in the CIM qualification, they may want to chat to their preferred study centre because I would possibly suggest they might want to do a postgraduate qualification. So looking at the marketing leadership programme, um, they might be uh, more experienced, have more experience than maybe they necessarily need um, for the um, diploma in professional marketing. Thank you, Red. Um, another question. So. Um, Somebody's wanting to know if they studied the um, Diploma in Professional Marketing with the Digital Strategy Elective and then went on to do the other two uh, Digital Diploma modules, would they then get two Diploma qualifications? Yes, they would, uh, is the simple answer to that. I believe that is the case. Um, uh, so, yes. Uh, do just be aware, obviously, um, depending on what you're, if you're already studying a level six qualification, um, the modules are about to be refreshed uh, from September, so you may need to speak to your preferred study centre about what options you could do then. But there still is a pathway where you can study the, uh, you know, the, the common modules uh, across the CIM diploma in professional marketing and the digital diploma in marketing, and then get an additional qualification if you do the additional uh, modules. I do hope that's correct, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yes, yeah, that is that is correct. Thank you, Red. Um, so another question we've had here, if you could perhaps maybe just clarify the differences between the diploma in professional marketing and then the digital version of the diploma. Essentially, one covers digital marketing in a lot more depth. Uh, and you only really cover digital marketing at the strategic level. That's the digital diploma. Whereas the professional diploma in marketing covers broader, um, uh, broader marketing uh, aspects, so marketing strategy uh, more generically. But there is an elective module within that where you could study one module in digital marketing. Whereas the digital diploma would cover three modules would all be about digital and digital strategy. That's a very, very basic overview. Um, but really, when you decide which one's for you, it depends on where you are in your career and what you want and where you aspire to be. Uh, so for someone who wants the digital um, diploma would be someone who uh, you know, does a lot with digital marketing. You know, a key part of their marketing role is dealing with digital. They want to better understand the strategic role that digital has and can have, um, they, or they're aspiring to be a digital marketing manager. Um, someone who wants to do the professional diploma, uh, sorry, the diploma in professional marketing, uh, this would be someone who perhaps is working in the marketing management role, doesn't really want to specialize in digital, but may want to understand a bit more about digital if they want to through doing an elective module. I hope that helps. It, um, it, again, if someone is speaking to their preferred study centre, uh, it's always worth asking that question again because, uh, for example, here at the Oxford College of Marketing, we've got like crib sheets that we can send to students to help them make that decision. Thank you, Red. Um, so we have somebody who's listening that has done a professional postgraduate diploma in marketing, but they are interested in doing the digital professional um, diploma. Would you recommend that um, they did that? Sorry, can you just repeat that again? Apologies. Sorry, yes. Yeah. So they've done the professional postgraduate diploma in marketing, but they would be interested in, in going back to the diploma level to do the digital diploma. Would that be right. something that you would recommend? Yes, yeah, so if you've done the professional uh, the diploma in professional marketing, but you want to now do the digital, you can absolutely do that. Um, you would learn more aspects. It wouldn't definitely wouldn't be the same content because you'd be focusing more on the strategic of digital. Uh, do just be aware that if you do want to do the digital uh, diploma, it does, um, there is an expectation that you do understand the basic tools and techniques of digital marketing. Um, again, if that's something you're concerned about, do speak to your preferred study center. Uh, here at the Oxford College of Marketing, we do offer access to uh, courses just to get you up to speed on those if you are concerned, though. I hope I answered the question. Thank you, Red. Um, so just a clarification here. Somebody's asking if you can study all of the... Um, all four of the modules on the diploma, so basically doing the two mandatory plus the two electives, um, which um, I mean, I, I can respond to that one in, in, in terms of, yes, you can. So you would then achieve the full diploma qualification and then you would achieve a modular award for the single module you did. So that is something that you can do if you wanted to do both mandatory and both electives on the diploma qualification. Yeah, I just um, add to that as well. 
Uh, so I was going to add to that as well, just saying yeah. that uh, actually here we, we give students access to all of the elective um, uh, materials so they can then decide which one they want to study as well. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so moving on to the next question. Um, do um, students work on the assignments um, individually or as a team? Oh, that's really important, actually. Uh, students work on the assignments individually. It has to be your own piece of work. Obviously, um, across many study centres, including Oxford College of Marketing, we do give briefings. You are given a tutor to support you through that, um, and you are given guidance, but it has to be your own piece of work. Um, and obviously, uh, just like you would study at sort of a university, it is checked to ensure that it is your own piece of work and you've not colluded in any way. Thank you, Red. Um, so we have another question here which um, I can respond to. So somebody's asking, do you book through the CIM or through your preferred study centre? Um, so as, as Red said, there's a study centre finder on the CIM website to, to, to find who you might want to study with and it's good to do your research on that and perhaps talk to a couple of different providers. You would be signing up with the preferred study centre to do your tuition um, and then your assignments and your membership would be booked through CIM. So you would have two relationships there, one with your study centre for your learning and then the other with CIM to actually take your assessments and to um, sign up for your membership. Um, so we also have another question, could we just clarify what the Level 7 course is called? So the course that um, Red referred to was the Marketing Leadership Programme. Um, and there's actually a webinar taking place regarding that qualification next Thursday at the same time, 1 o'clock, if you are interested in hearing a bit more about that qualification. Um, so another question here, um, can I take a break from studying midway through the qualification? What would your recommendation be on that one, Red? Absolutely, you can. Um, I will just reiterate here, different study centres give you access to materials for a different amount of time. So if you sign up with a study centre, um, uh, you will have access to, access to that material at a certain amount of time. However, one thing, again, to underline is that you can study for the qualification module by module. So you could, for example, just pay for one module, study that for that module, complete it, and then take a break if you wanted to. Or if you signed up for the whole course, you would have some time limit on um, how long you have to study. But say with the Oxford College of Marketing, it's three years, so you could take a break midway through if you, if you needed to. And also, we, you know, many study centres do look and are able to extend that period you have access to materials and complete your course with um, uh, in any case, but it would be down to the individual study centre. But you know, we are all, you know, as study centres, we all understand that some things, life happens, something happens, gets in the way, um, and you might need to take a break from your studies. Uh, so we are, and we do try to be as flexible as we possibly can. Thank you, Red. Um, I think that might be all the questions we have. We could perhaps just give it a few more minutes to see if anybody else okay. wants to... Um, Great questions, there. Any more questions. Yes, definitely. Um, we do have a few specifics about um, people wanting to know if they have the right entry criteria. Um, it might be better if we take those offline and, and answer those individually because they are very specific to the individual. Okay. So we'll do that yeah. after the webinar. I would always um, say about if anyone's confused about entry level, do speak to the preferred study centre because there are also CIM tests. Uh, available as well online that you can just check what level you should be studying at. By the way, we say test, don't panic. It's just literally an online kind of survey. Uh, it just enables you, us to make sure you're at the right level. But generally, most study centres are really good at advising. Um, if you do, we do find some students fall what I fall what I call falling between the cracks between you know a certificate and the professional diploma. But don't worry. Uh, again, a lot of study centres, and including the Oxford College of Marketing, do have things like pre-courses that can help you get up to speed um, to make sure you can study at the level six. Thank you, Red. Um, we don't seem to be having any more questions come through, so I think um, we can probably end the webinar there. So I'd like to say thank you, Red, for presenting today's webinar, and also thank well. you to our audience for attending. Um, once you leave today's webinar, you will receive a survey on the presentation, so we would really appreciate your feedback on that. Um, and on behalf of CIM, um, I'd like to thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much.